Well, fortunately, we have enough medical evidence um, that's been accumulated over the past, particularly the past five to 10 years, but for the past 30 years, um, that shows that colon cancer screening is, in fact, very effective. First of all, I think it's useful to know that it's the second most common cause of death from cancer in this country. The only cancer uh, that causes death more frequently in men and women is lung cancer. So if people didn't smoke, colon cancer would be the most common cause of death from cancer in this country. So it's a big problem in that sense. There are about 150,000 people or so who develop colon cancer every year and about 60,000 people every year who are dying of colon cancer in the United States. Since it's a largely preventable disease, that's something that we'd like to change. Almost all colon cancers start off as a small growth called a polyp, which is a little growth on the lining of the inside of the colon, the colon being the large intestine. And over a period of about five to 10 years, those polyps can slowly turn into cancer. The whole object of the game is to find the polyps before they become cancer and remove them so you don't ever get the cancer. In addition to a yearly fecal occult blood test, every five years, people over the age of 50 who are at average risk should have a procedure known as a sigmoidoscopy. It's a look into part of the colon where polyps often begin to form. Did a great job on the prep. An alternative approach is a colonoscopy, which allows a specialist to view the entire colon. This test is recommended every 10 years, starting at age 50 for people at average risk. If polyps are detected, a colonoscopy needs to be done more frequently. This test is also recommended for people who are at a higher than normal risk, such as those who have a family history of colon cancer or polyps. It's important to have sigmoidoscopies or colonoscopies because a fecal occult blood test, also known as a hemocult test, cannot detect all colon cancers. It's clear that hemocults are helpful in reducing mortality from colon cancer, um, but they're also far from a perfect test. And there are a couple reasons for that. One of them is that only some polyps will bleed. And even cancer only bleeds intermittently, which means that you can have a negative hemocult even if you have cancer. Very often people have positive hemocult uh, cards and they're what we call false positives. The test is positive, but the person does not have a polyp or cancer. They might have hemorrhoids or some irritation due to something else, or they may have eaten a very rare steak. Uh, just before doing the cards, because the cards will pick up any blood. If a polyp is detected, it can usually be removed easily by means of a small tool or wire loop attached to the end of a colonoscope. This procedure is one of the best examples of true cancer prevention. And so I think it's useful for people to know that we rarely find cancer in appropriately aged individuals. What we find are the polyps, and then we can prevent the cancer.